All right guys, today I'm gonna to be changing the batteries in this club car golf cart. Unfortunately, I did not film the removal process. I quickly just yanked them out one day because a friend of mine was ordering some batteries. So I took some pictures of how they looked before so I'd know how to get them back together the right way. That's very important. These batteries are six to seven years old, very dirty. And as you can see, one of the terminals actually melted off of the battery. Um, now we're gonna be reinstalling these new batteries I got from my buddy. Mine were about, I probably got a good deal on mine because I ordered through him and he runs a golf course. But mine are about 750 bucks, but I know they probably run a lot of people over a $1,000 because you need the deep cycle batteries for these golf carts and they're not cheap. So we're gonna be putting them in today and showing you how that goes back together. First thing I did was clean off these um, these angle iron brackets that the batteries sit on. That way they sit flush and sit nice and flat. They make a handle that has these hooks on the ends of it that hook on these little tabs on these batteries, but I didn't have one. So I just improvised and used this piece of baler twine to lift the batteries into the golf cart. I use this DeWalt angle grinder with a wire brush to clean off the terminal connectors. They had some corrosion buildup on them. This is one of the terminal connectors that has failed. It's probably the one that was attached to that burn off terminal. I had to replace two of mine. I realized once I finished this battery project that this particular battery was in backwards and I had to turn it around. Even using my phone and the pictures I took, earlier i still got one of the batteries backwards so you really have to pay attention to what you're doing i put some dielectric grease on all the nuts washers and connectors to keep them from corroding The nuts and washers from the terminals were really corroded, so I put them in some vinegar to clean them up.
That's how you change the batteries in a club car, golf cart. It's really not that big a deal. The most important part is getting the getting pictures of the battery cables before you take them apart so that you get them back together right because you don't want to ruin any set of batteries or damage your golf cart. That's how you uh, put the new ones in. And um, I should have filmed getting them out, but I took pictures to show you what they look like before. It's mainly just heavy lifting and just make sure you get everything connected back together right. So until next time, guys, good luck with all your projects.